This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 14 by 14 inch canvas, an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula by Good Grips so you can find on my Amazon link that's under the link tree. It's on the link tree underneath Show More. I'm going to use prism pores and primary elements from Color Art and there's a 20% off coupon code. I'm going to start by covering my canvas with a layer of Chantilly lace because I need a conveyance to make my canvas wet and put other colors on top so I can swipe. Ouch! Without the little cap burying itself in the palm of my hand. Okay. This might take a second because the paint is not super thin. And I've never tried to cover an entire canvas with a layer of paint like this. Not, not prison pour, at least. Usually artist loft or mead and black or something like that. So it's worth, it's worth finding out. <laughs> I've got other colors I like. A really simple palette is in what's in my future. I'm thinking of the blue velvet. I'm also happy I found my tweezers because I see that thing. Probably won't show once the blue and other colors are in there. For some reason, I have a ghost animal hair <laughs> every single time I paint now. It's probably telling me it's time, past time, past time to vacuum the studio. All right, I can see I have little chunks of canvas showing. So I'm just gonna go back. And I'm hoping my paint stays wet long enough for me to do what I want to do. My Aussie Floatrol and Amsterdam Black Cell Activator are uncapped and ready to go. My Mayan Gold <laughs> is ready to go. My Blue Velvet is even ready to go. I'm going to go crossways. I think that's the only way to really make sure that I get everything I want covered. I'm resigned to having to take the time to do this and I do see that thing that does not belong and needs to go. Whatever it is, it's gone now. Alright, chances are it's gone but it's sibling is still there. I run my spatula right up the edge or right down the edge. Try and make sure that I've got some paint right to the edge. I don't like that little canvas strip poking its head up and I can always cover things later. I'm going to try and scrape off my spatula and because the paint is sticky I'm going to throw it in the bucket. Now, haha! <laughs> Now I'm going to put random puddles of mine in gold. This has worked in the past. I recall having done a few puddly things before. This is the shiny taffeta. Might seem like an odd combination, but it might be better if it actually came out. Why don't I just give myself unlimited access. I would normally pile the colors up on top of each other, but I'd really like to see both of these colors. And I believe that the other colors that I add will be in the little piles, the puddly piles, pile puddles. I can't wait to try this. I really can't. This is Orange Crush. I don't want a lot. I'm probably going to pull out some French Silk. Probably, more than likely, going to use any residuals that I wind up on my swipe tool, which is, at this point in my head, going to be a palette knife. I haven't used any of this Fire and Ice. Well, not much. 
and I'm pretty sure it's color shifting, purpley, pink, and it's nice to have enough paint when you're swiping through to go all the way. I definitely still want some more Chantilly lace. As you can see, I'm kind of leaving some negative space up at the top. That That's part of a plan, I think. I'm going to use the blue velvet initially. And I think I'm going to put some more Chantilly lace puddles down. Try and use the black cell activator first, I'm pretty sure. I'm being called to purple and I'm trying to quiet that call. But it's not working very well. I do have some ginger flower primary elements pigment powder. I don't want I do want the blue to really show up, but since I'm unfamiliar, it's sort of a it's anybody's guess. I have some what is it called? Bis Misty Veil, vale, which is a variation, I think, on the Fire and Ice, because it's going to look pretty similar. And that thing right there is a paint chip. I'm still being called to purple. What am I going to do? All right, so. Do I try it? That would probably look okay. Let's just start and see how things go right out of the gate. I'm going to do white on the bottom and I could use a much larger palette knife but lately this is whoops been working for me quite nicely. I need a, a scrape dish to pour my excess cell activator into. Okay here goes nothing. That is sort of kind of what I had in mind, actually. I didn't think about the gaps, but I kind of like them. Come on, that was a bubble. That wasn't supposed to just... I'm going to scrape off my tool and think about whether I want... No, I'm going to be good, because these are the colors it's supposed to be, but I am going to add some more Chantilly lace. just to make paint flow more easily. And who knows, at the end I may go back. Nothing's, nothing's going to stop me from going back with some ginger flower or whatever else I might want to add. So that was okay. I think I have enough cell activator. Let's go from the other side. that up. I hope my head wasn't too much in the way. I did, I did a swipe recently with tendrils and I'm kind of in the tenderly mode. I don't mind those. Those are the colors I was hoping for. I see that I have a animal hair floating about me. Haunted by animal hairs. I want to start from the bottom up. That was a lot of white. Yes, I do. I want to start from the bottom up. Because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link.
it's the colors that are going to make this. I know they seem a little subtle and quite different than my usual, but I'm just going to scrape that off. I kind of don't mind going up from the bottom, but I also like the cells I saw at the top. I'm still, still torn. I think that would look great, <laughs> but I don't mind what I've got, so I'm going to try and behave. I think a, a more consistent layer. Oh, I went from the bottom again. Now I'm going to go back again. Scrape. Getting some nice cells, some interesting shapes. I meant to use some gold, but I don't know that I need it. And I've got five. I'm inclined to grab my little acetate tool and wipe off my palette knife. I think I want a really small one, and I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and use... Oh, there's where the hair is coming from. Sometimes I rest my tile on the floor when it's wet. I like the acetate tool, and I will include the video for producing these if you're interested. Gotta be careful not to dig in too far. That's just neat. I kept resisting putting anything over here, but I want something there. Wind my way up and down. Once I have paint on, I can do that all I want. Yeah, I like that. That's a plan. Try not to wreck anything really awesome. Waggle my way down to the bottom. They're just funky color flames, basically. I should turn that around for you. some scrapings from my palette knife. I like dragging the colors through each other. I like the blue. It definitely reminds me of blue flames. Not a bad experiment, really. I like those colors for sure. I think I got away with the Chantilly lace. I wasn't sure I was going to because it's pretty, pretty substantial viscosity. How do I like that? I like that pretty well. I shouldn't work from upside down. I definitely think I will do another one using the ginger flower. And I may black out my sides or my edges. So I love you guys. I have over 2,500 videos organized by topic and genre, and you can find them by going to playlists, all playlists, created playlists, on my YouTube channel. And 
I shouldn't go overboard and I probably shouldn't be doing this upside down. But I'm having too much fun and I want to tell you guys I love you and you inspire the heck out of me. And I hope you come again. I post at 3.15 Eastern Standard Time right now. And uh, underneath, my, underneath my video, you can find my paint pouring recipes, along with my link tree, where you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups. I'm going to torch really briefly to let release some of the bubbles caught in the paint, if there are any. And it's all one go, so I know there are a few at least. I haven't put any spirals in here. There's another one. And I almost always do. And once I start, it's really hard to stop. So I want to contemplate whether I want to do that. I might be more interested in putting a few dots in. Which I have enjoyed doing very much lately. And maybe if I restrain myself a little, I'd be better. Yeah, I like the dots. Also, I can look for any more bubbles when I do that. I definitely think these colors would lend themselves to purple and some nice hot pink. This is one of my little acetate tools that you can see on the tutorial. And if I don't remember to post it under the video, please remind me and I will do so. Fire and ice. I don't know how many I want to do. I want to tell you guys I love you. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up. When you share my videos, you help my channel and me. When you shop my Amazon link on the link tree, you help me if you know how to cost you. I like the gaps. I always say that. And then you watch me fill them in. This time I'm not going to fill them in. Except for a few, few dots here and there. Maybe I've already gone far enough, you think? That's cool. All right, so this is, this, this is what it is for now. And I will try another one and black my edges at some other future point. Tell you guys I love you again. And uh, thank you for the, all the kind words and the compliments. You keep my morale boosted, and if you're interested, there's a PayPal icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, which will allow you to make a donation to help keep me painting. And thank you to everybody who has done so in the past. I really appreciate that very much. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'll do three. <laughs> I'm going to try and zoom in and shimmer at you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's very shimmery and beautiful. It reminds me of my first weedy garden. Having that Chantilly lace in the background is really not a bad thing at all. Hopefully you can see some of that. They're definitely different colors for me and I'm trying to break out of my usual, which is basically the, the full spectrum rainbow. We'll see you guys anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.